Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Admin Joe, and I am here with your coach of the Day Day Nights, Dusty Day Day Carr. Hi. <laughs> All right, Dusty. How are you doing today, man? Um, how are you feeling about this season's draft league? Uh, that hasn't been my best. Um, I started off a little rocky, but I came back okay about the middle, and then ended kind of sour, but it's all good. Um, so the first question of your interview is, uh, who was your biggest opponent this season, you felt? My biggest opponent, or like like the toughest one? Yeah, toughest. Um, probably would have been between you and Riley. You were the ones I prepped for most. So how do you feel um, you fared against Riley and me? Um, well, I lost to you pretty hard, but I think that was due to the opening. I wasn't expecting you to lead with Salazzle. Um, uh, and Riley, I took out okay, but it was due to Toxic. So. <laughs> I will honestly say uh, I thought you were going to lead Quagsire, so I was trying to get a quick uh, Toxic off. No, I actually assumed you were going to lead your charge with uh, Chinchino since it outsped all of my Pokemon and had two moves that were guaranteed to hit five times that were super effective against four of my team that I've used every battle. <laughs> Surprisingly, I didn't bring Minchino to that battle. So I guess that kind of threw you off when you saw uh, pre-team prep. Well, yeah, I guess uh, yeah, that's literally how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you feel was your MVP of this season since your season has been cut short? Uh, probably Durant. I have seen you get a couple of kills with that thing. It's either Durant or Charizard that got the most on my end. I am certainly envious of uh, your Charizard. I wanted it. I'm sure you did. Very much so. I had a choice spec set uh, in my plans for it, and I couldn't use that set. So I was kind of jealous that you had it, opposed to I'm me. Sure. <laughs> I think he did fine with the Dragapult. Uh, so far, I he, he swept week one, and then he did a good sweep in week seven. But other than that, I didn't really get to do much with it. Um, let me see. I lost my notes here. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Who do you feel... Oh, sorry. Wrong question. Did you have a strategy going into your draft... If so, were you successful in achieving that strategy? Mm. Honestly, I don't really fare well in doubles, or sorry, singles. <laughs> so my big strategy was trying to get Pokemon that could have the fewest weaknesses so the Switch game would be okay. Um, I didn't do too bad. I, let's see, out of seven weeks, I won four of them. So I guess that's not horrible. <laughs> Did you have, like, a certain uh, core you wanted to draft, like Fairy, Dragon, Steel? Or no, were you, were I just... wanted a, a, a diversity between them all. I don't like leaning towards one too many things, because while it can be strong, you also take just as much of a weakness from it. Well, well, that, that's kind of what I was asking, because, you know, uh, Fairy, Dragon, Steel, they uh, cover each other's weaknesses pretty well, so you can switch out. I did have a fairy at the beginning, but it never was useful, so I traded it off. Okay. What 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 core do you think benefited your team the most? Core types? Yeah. Like hmm. uh, fire, water, grass, fairy, steel, dragon, um, you know, along, along those lines. Um, flying, probably flying dark and my ground. Because I was able to nullify things that were effective against the others. Charizard, Quagsire, and Hydreigon switched in for each other quite a bit. That is a pretty good core. And, um, 
last question to end off your interview. Um, what do you feel would better prepare you for a uh, next singles draft league if you choose to participate? Mm. <coughs> Not picking a hazard setter that has seven weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm guessing Quagsire? Claydol. Oh, Claydol. Yeah. Quagsire has one weakness. Grass. But uh, Claydol has seven. Oh, man, that's crazy. So he had no choice. If I used him, he had to have the focus there. And I actually do have one more question. Um, what appealed you to the PML draft that most draft leagues don't do? I've never participated in another draft league. <laughs> <laughs> so PML is just the best in your opinion? <laughs> uh, I'm in a few Pokemon groups, but uh, I don't like most of the way they run. Uh, all seems to be about, I don't know, just very rushed at getting everybody certain mons. Like, uh, I like the way things run in this group. I almost said guild. <laughs> I appreciate the way you say that, man. <laughs> all right, guys. And that is it for uh, the Day Day Dragons or Day Day Knights. <laughs> I don't know. I've changed my name a few times. Yeah, before. the Dragoons. <laughs> Um, anything you would like to leave uh, PML with? Any special uh, words? Uh, well, I suck at singles. I think what I've won one singles, two doubles in the past, or vice versa. One or the other. No, yeah. you won uh, one singles and two doubles championships. So you're a three-time champion in PML. Uh, I'm better at doubles, and doubles is coming up. So if I get to partake in that, um, hopefully I do a little bit better. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dusty, for doing an interview for PML. And thank you. And we hope to see you in uh, future draft leagues, man. Likewise. Alright, guys. Thank you, PML, for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support the group.